Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my recipe for my cranberry and orange cookies. They are incredibly simple to make, and aside from orange, and an orange and some dried cranberries, it's just a very basic cookie, and I figured it's perfect to share with you right now because I know we're all baking, we all have so much going on, and if you find yourself to be in a pickle with you know having somewhere to go, or you have to give a gift to someone, and you just don't know what to do, and you want to do something that's really easy and simple, but still packs a punch in terms of flavor and just really being something that people receive with so much love, then I think these would be a great option for you. They literally take five minutes to put together, 10 minutes in the oven, and you have like one of the most incredible holiday cookies that you can possibly get your hands on. The ingredients you'll need are very few basic ones, like all-purpose flour, baking soda and salt, brown sugar and granulated sugar, some dried cranberries, vanilla, egg, unsalted butter, and an orange. That's it and that's all. Easy peasy, but I'm telling you, these cookies are like screaming with holiday cheer. I've got my oven preheated to 375. I've got some baking sheets lined with some parchment paper, and we are ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna make mine in my standing mixer that I have fitted with a pedal attachment. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute tonight. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too much excitement. Can you tell I've been eating a little too much sugar? For my excitement, I come on like a sugar rush. <laughs> It's all good though, it's the holiday season. It's part of what makes it so special. Okay, in my mixer, I'm gonna add my butter and both kinds of sugar, and I am going to cream this together until combined. And then what I'm going to do, while that happens, I'm just gonna stir my flour, baking soda, and salt together to make sure that they're well combined. And then I'm gonna set them aside and wait for this to be done. I'm just grating some orange zest. I'm grating it right into the same bowl I had my egg in because it's going to go in now. This looks great. So I'm going to add in my egg and my orange zest, which smells so incredible. And a little bit of vanilla because no baking would be the same without a little bit of vanilla. And then I'm just going to mix that until they're combined. And that's really it. Perfect. Now you know I need to take my spatula here and give everything a really good mix. I want to make sure it's getting incorporated from all sides. Okay, this looks good enough. I'm going to add in my dry ingredients, which is just my flour, salt, and baking soda, and my dried cranberries. Now, this is when you can get fancy with it if you want to. You can add white chocolate chips to this right now, and you could add nuts. You could add pistachio for that beautiful green and red. I mean, I'm just getting really excited and I'm wondering why I don't have pistachio in hand. But the point is, <laughs> you at this point have a very basic cookie dough. Go crazy. Do what you like. Add different nuts, different dried fruit to this. The world is your pickle. Like you'd like dill pickle, a butter pickle, whatever. It's all you, boo. So do what you like. I'm gonna mix everything together and we'll have our dough. Okay, that's perfect. All right, handy dandy ice cream scoop to the rescue. And now I'm just gonna form my cookies and then they'll be ready to go into the oven. Alrighty, last one on. Okay, make sure you put them a couple inches apart from each other. And now I'm gonna pop these into the oven at 375 for around nine to 11 minutes or until the edges are lightly golden, let them cool, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. My cookies are in the oven for about 10 minutes and I've let them cool completely and just a heads up, if you want yours to be a lot more flat than mine, then just add another egg to the batter, to the cookie dough batter, but I, this is per personally the way I prefer them. That was a tongue twister. Um, because I almost want them to be a cookie, of course, but just a little more substantial, just a little, just a little more, you know? So I, I, the smell is phenomenal. And I just gotta have a little piece with the cranberry. Mm, mm. That is a cookie I want right now. The cranberry gives you just like a, a punch of something just slightly tart. The orange isn't definitely in there, but it's not overpowering. Sweet, but not too sweet. Just the perfect all around cookie that really just feels like a real treat, even though it's so easy to put together. Go to laurainthekitchen.com to get this recipe. I hope you have enjoyed spending time with me, and I will see you next time.
Bye.